Welcome back my YouTube friends and family. This is Lindsay and I am back with more daily work from home job leads for you. I have five different job leads in today's video. They're all from big well-known companies. So if you don't want to be at a small startup, don't worry, I've got you covered with well-known companies in today's video. But before we jump in, I do just want to say, I hope everyone has a fabulous holiday week, weekend, two weeks ahead, whatever you are taking off for the holidays, whatever kind of holidays you do celebrate during this time. I hope you just have a fabulous time with all of your friends and family. But I did just want to get this video out before we get started on all the celebrations in case any of these jobs are perfect for you. So thank you to everyone who has been watching me and supporting me this past year. But diving right on in, first up we have CVS Health. Now CVS Health has 37,000 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 3.1 out of 5 stars. They are hiring a quality specialist. This is remote. All of these are going to be remote for the United States only. But they're basically looking for somebody to perform quality checks on patient eligibility, COBRA and flex plans, pulled transactions. You'll be auditing plan documents, written policies, and making sure they're accurate in the operating system. This is going to be a production based role. No college degree is needed, just a high school diploma or GED. Someone who has great communication skills can be a multitasker, has great organizational skills and strong attention to detail and pay for this position is anywhere from $17 an hour all the way up to $27.90 an hour. Of course, pay is always going to be dependent on factors like your location and your experience. Moving right along though, next up we have the company Zillow, the well-known real estate company. They have 2,000 reviews on Glassdoor from past and current employees, an overall employee satisfaction rating of 4.0 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a customer experience associate, again, remote for the United States. Now they have a product called Dot Loop, and they're trying to expand Dot Loop and change the way real estate is done by eliminating paperwork for negotiated transactions. They're trying to make everything kind of digital. And so they're looking for somebody to deliver the best customer service for delivering quality on time, every time. You'll provide guidance and standard methodologies through multiple channels like phone, email, chat, and social media, just helping the customer work through all of that dot loop digital paperwork so that they're not doing actual paperwork for their housing transactions. So you're going to become a specialist on dot, dot loops, products, features, and functionality, and just give the best solutions to the customer for any issues that they're having. Now they don't require a college degree either. They're looking for somebody who has at least one year of customer service experience, someone who can work independently and handle a high volume of customer cases. They say if you have basic real estate knowledge that's preferred. It is not required. They even state that you just have to have great communication skills and be a self starter. But pay for this position again is dependent on location and experience because anywhere from $18.80 an hour all the way up to $30 an hour. Now, next up, we have the University of Colorado. They have 807 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall rating of 3.8 out of 5 stars. And I do just want to suggest that if you are interested in applying for any of these companies, come to their Glassdoor page and read people who have worked for them what they say. They list pros and cons for the company in general. Someone commented the other day asking me how you know if job leads are scams. And I always try to find real reviews on companies, people who have worked in them who can give you the inside into a company. That's why I always include the glass door pages so that you can just click on the link and read any reviews you're interested in reading. But they're hiring a data quality specialist. Now, if you come all the way down, it says where will you work? It says this role can work remotely within the United States. They don't state that they have any state restrictions, but they're basically looking for somebody to provide excellent customer service 
to their partners on the CU campuses at the University of Colorado Foundation. So you're going to ensure that data in the donor alumni databases is correct and updated. And you're also going to contribute to a fundamental part of the university's fundraising success. So you're going to analyze, monitor, and maintain the accuracy of donors related records in the donor alumni, just keeping all of those financial records up to date and safe. So this might mean collecting information, entering that information into the data, using standards for indexing and coding in the database, using research and analytical skills and multiple tools to resolve duplicate records in the system. So it's just going to be a lot of data entry. You're also going to manage the data management email inbox. Now they do prefer a bachelor degree from an institution, but it says professional experience can be substituted for that degree on a year for year basis. So a bachelor degree is generally four years in school. So if you have four years of experience, then they will not require a bachelor degree. If you do have a bachelor degree, they only require one year of experience, but they are looking for somebody who kind of knows knowledge of business and organizational structure, has good communication skills and good judgment skills. Now pay for this position is anywhere from $51,000 a year all the way up to $52,000 a year. So right in that $51,000, $52,000 mark. And now would be a good time to just quickly ask that if you're enjoying these job leads, you can let me know. Give me that direct feedback by giving this video a thumbs up like button. And if you know anybody who could benefit from these, please share with them so we can all work from home. But we have Netflix hiring. They have 2,700 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall rating of 4.2 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a games rating strategist. This is remote for the United States. Best of all about this position, they don't require any kind of college degree. They're looking for somebody who's passionate about games to help tag, rate games, things like that. You're going to review game content, which might be the scripts of the games, design documents, actual video footage from the games. You might actually have to play the games, test the games, and identify any contextual evidence or sensitive elements. You'll research and analyze the content to make sure that sensitive content are tagged and target age ratings are assigned. This sounds like such a fun job. You're going to quality check age rating disclosures and making sure you have the correct age rating on the game and you'll write summaries of the game age rating for contextual sharing. No college degree. They're looking for somebody who's three years of experience in one or more related fields like content classification, content moderation, standards and practices, global ratings, things like that. They do want somebody who has knowledge of the ratings like ESRB, PGI. So if you play games and you know the ratings, you're good there. And three years of content classification or content moderation. If you've ever done side jobs like these rating Google rating jobs that were always sharing and talking about like Appen or TELUS International, I would put that on there because that is content classification and moderation. Above that, you just have to be a great communicator and have a passion for games. Netflix also pays very well on this one, anywhere from $80,000 a year all the way up to $350,000 a year. And next up, we have the company Yahoo. Now, Yahoo owns AOL, and this job is going to be for the AOL division. I did share a couple of days ago an actual Yahoo position, but this one is going to be for their AOL division. They have 6,100 reviews on Glassdoor, an overall rating of 4.0 out of 5 stars. They're looking for a social media manager for their AOL division. Now, this one is going to require a degree, but they're looking for somebody to be responsible for planning and executing just all of their social media content. This means you'll help develop content year round for their content calendar. You'll execute and post the AOL brand vision. So like creative design, writing, producing content, posting that content, you'll do the whole content process from start to finish. You'll have to gain brand relevance through influencer engagement and support brand activations for their marketing calendar. So you're just going to be making content and posting it all over social media with the AOL brand in mind. They do want somebody who has a bachelor degree in marketing, communication, social media, or any other kind of related field with five to seven years of experience in social media and someone who can problem solve, think strategically, and come up with different content strategies. If you do have that degree, though, they pay very well, pays anywhere from $82,125 a year all the way up to $171,250 a year. 
All right, if you've made it to the end of this video, I owe you a huge thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching and supporting me again. I hope everyone has the happiest of holidays ahead. Don't forget, if you are looking for anything, you can leave that down in the comments below, and I'll be back really, really soon with more work from Home Job Leads just for you.